I am unboxing some new beads today. I will be making some waist beads and bracelets out of these beads. This package actually took a lot longer to arrive later than the tracking said it was supposed to arrive. But it's here now and I'm thankful and I'm getting ready to be creative. It's been a while since I've made some waist beads. So the first color that I got is emerald green and it's transparent. I really like how dark this color is. I don't, I didn't want the light mint green. So I decided to get the emerald green and all of these beads are going to be size six. The next one is a yellow transparent color. It is matte. And I really like that it's, I really like the color. I didn't want this one to be shiny. And I wanted to make sure that I got beads that are not going to fade because that's a real big issue, especially when it comes to waist beads because you're showering and you're keeping them on for the most part. The next color is going to be red. I got this really deep ruby red. It is also transparent size six. I really like this color. The next one is black opaque number six again. And then there is a white opaque number six that I will be using. And here we have clear. Now I, I thought that I was buying silver, but I have clear. And the next one is going to be a matte root, root beer, which is a brown. I want it brown because that is a popular requested color. And I don't get many waist beads that have brown in them that comes from Africa. The next one is purple, matte dark lilac, then blue bugle bead. It's on a hank. And then we have the Kyrie shells. I'm going to be using these for bracelets. They're really pretty and shiny. Then I have another cut cowrie shell that I'll be using to add to finished bracelets. And then I have another type of cowrie shell that I'll be using for bracelets. And I actually may try to add them to a few waist beads. So I'm really excited about this new set of beads and I'm starting to make waist beads again. 